don't stress, don't panic, it's just neon eyeliner, that's all. So today I came up with a look that, um, okay, so this is what happened and this might be a little bit too much information, but here we go. I was sitting on the toilet and um, I was going through all my videos in my head and I was like, I need more neon. As one comes up with that at a toilet. I got off the toilet, I grabbed... I grabbed a face chart and I started like trying things out and this came out of it. Now if you want to know how I do face charts then please go check out this video right here. There is um, a video on how I work with face charts and stuff so if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching. So, as always, the first thing you want to do, even with neon colors, is apply a base first to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing, and duh, I'm going to use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Now I'm going to put some Kid and Cork Eyeshadow by MAC in my crease, and you mainly want to focus this on the inner part of the eye, because the rest of the attention has to go to, of course, the neon eyeliner. To warm that crease up a bit, I'm gonna take a bit of texture eyeshadow from MAC. That is really going on the inner part. This is MAC's chamomile eyeshadow, and that is going onto your brow bone, and you're gonna blend it down into the crease color to give them a nice blend. I'm gonna take a bit of NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and that is going on the lid for now and then of course blend it out. I'm gonna take this beautiful cool pink shine uh, pigment from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and this is called Datura. And that is going over that NYX base in Milk, that Jumbo Pencil, onto the lid. And can you see that gorgeous reflection it has, pack that all over the lid. I'm gonna take another OCC pigment called Oberon. Go ahead and apply that to your brow bone and uh, again, look at that shine. I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk again and sort of map out where I want my neon pink eyeliner to be because I will be using an eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is known for not really going on opaque without a base underneath. So I'm just going to put a base underneath to really make it stick. And I'm going to blend that out slightly. The neon pink I'm going to use is from the Sleek Acid Palette. All you want to do is really pack on this color because this color is really powdery. The eyeshadow is really powdery and without a base it won't really stick plus show. So just make sure that you are packing this on. You're going to get fallout like bat shit so make sure you don't apply your foundation for your eyes. I'm going to go to the inner parts of my eye and then go back and then you will get that sort of shape which I really love. So what I'm now going to do is just make sure that I like the shape of the eyeliner and just adding parts where I'm missing out or thickening parts where I feel like the eyeliner is too small. For the neon yellow, I'm using my Sleek Acid Palette again. And that is going right here on the very inner corner above the eyeliner we just created. Slowly but surely, blend it out and into your lid and crease. And it's okay to really pack on that yellow because again, with this acid palette, the more you pack it on, the more it shows. So I'm really going to pack that on. I'm going to go back into Max Cork eyeshadow. And that is going on the bottom lid with that gap that hasn't got any pink on it yet. Blend that pink more to my lower lash line as well to blend it with cork. For my waterline, I'm going to use Ben Nye Neutralizer Cream Crayon in Light MP2. 
Then I'm now gonna do is apply a black winged eyeliner and I'm just doing that to give the eye more depth and also to hide the eyelashes a bit more. We all know how to do black liner by now. If not, check my uh, Kesha video or my Lana Del Rey. And I'm gonna apply some lashes and the lashes I will be using are Red Cherry number 76. So I'm gonna do all of that right now and then I will be back for the face. Now, of course, for my face, I still have to do my foundation, as if you couldn't tell. For my foundation, I'm using Max Face and Body White, and I'm gonna mix that with my favorite Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in number 10, Classic Ivory. I'm gonna apply that as a foundation and as a concealer, uh, Max Pro Longwear in uh, NC15. This is my favorite concealer. First, I'm going to take Max Sculpt Powder and I'm going to contour with that and kind of blend that into the temples as well. For blush, I'm going to use Tarte's Overexposed Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Blush. For a highlight, I'm going to use Max Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish because I am obsessed with that eye. If I die, I want this in my grave. And just kind of highlight your highlighting points of your face. I'm going to wear a nude color with this because I love nude colors and for that I will be using Max Strawberry Milk which is a really nice soft milky color. And yeah guys that completes the what I like to call my Neon Nights um, inspired look. Um, I I, I dig this shit. I love this shit like crazy like bad shit. Oh, that's a lot of shit. I'm sorry. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. Follow me on Twitter if you like that, which is Nikki Tutorials. And also, if you would like, please go to my Facebook page, which is Nikki Tutorials, and click like. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Question of the video is, what is your favorite neon color? Mine is pink or yellow. I think pink because it's just, it's pink. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys.